Okay, uh, this is the, the regular meeting uh, we're going to call to attention. And um, I just want to state that we did have an executive session for some legal matters uh, prior to the, um, the scheduled meeting here this evening. Uh, the other thing, I'd like to start the meeting with a, with a moment of silence, if I could, for Pasquale Vincent de Blasio, who passed away this week. Uh, Mr. de Blasio was an active member of this community, volunteering for many civic events. He served as mayor of Bridgeville from 1978 to 1986 as a member of the Planning Commission, among many other community positions. Uh, the council acknowledges Mr. de Blasio's many contributions and extends our sympathy to members of Mr. de Blasio's family. Thank you. Um, roll call, Joe. Uh, I started the recording. Uh, first one up, Mr. Henderson. Here. Mr. Petroselli. Here. Mr. Gallarducci. Here. Mr. Colosimo. Here. Mr. Verducci. Here. Mrs. Schneider. Here. Mr. Shoshalski. Here. Mayor Copeland. Here. McDermott. Here. Engineer Brett. Here. Chief King. Here. I'm Joe Cower. Chief Castain. Assistant Chief Maglin. Then Director Miller. Here. Okay, thank you, Joe. Uh, let's open up to public comment. Do we have any visitors here that want to speak this evening? Uh, excuse me, this is Bob Fryer. I would like to speak. Go ahead, Bob. Okay, hi. Incidentally, about uh, about Mayor uh, Pat de Blasio's funeral service, uh, I, many of you attended it, I assume, but uh, they had over at the Holy Child Church or Corpus Christi Church, they had uh, two a male and a female opera singer, and it was the most uh, moving funeral service uh, mass that I've ever attended. It was truly uh, a, a very touching ceremony. At any rate, uh, I, w I just wanted to make that statement, but I wanted to ask you uh, primarily about uh, about a year ago, <clears throat> excuse me, I uh, asked the members of the Planning Commission and members of council uh, Actually, I think begged was a, probably a better word to put together a, a major comprehensive road system that invo that would solve the Washington Avenue, Washington Pike traffic congestion north and south. And also the uh, I think I suggested the making Bar Hill Road and Baldwin Street two one way streets as uh, I've given you some drawings about, it, to, again, to solve the east-west uh, traffic congestion problem that's plagued the, plagued the community for so many, for almost 50 years. Uh, I'd like to know where you guys are in presenting that large, comprehensive road plan to PennDOT and SPC, and primarily, not only because it's obviously necessary to eliminate the uh, to do something about uh, restoring the economic viability of the, both the Washington Avenue and the Baldwin Street Business District. But uh, as you, as we have all heard, uh, PennDOT's planning on putting a, uh, a, a toll booth or something uh, on the bridge over Route 50 on 79, whether they do it or don't do it, it certainly brings our attention to the fact that we have to do something to completely solve our our 50 year old traffic congestion plan, I'd like to know what you guys have done on that and where you are in that process. Well, first of all, Bob, uh, we all have a, a copy of what you've proposed to us or, or presented to us on several occasions, and uh, oh, we, good, yeah. So um, we're also, if you, I'm not sure if you've been at the most recent planning commission meetings or not, but there. They're in the um, we're in the planning stages of actually hiring someone to complete a, a, a plan, you know, a long term plan that, that has a lot of information that 
that we've gathered, that you've presented, the, uh, the ideas of the planning commission, all of that is being taken into consideration with that planning commission. So, oh, good. Yeah. Are, are, who, who are you? Are, and not, I don't mean to interrupt you there, Bill, but uh, are, are you, will it be Lennon Smith's Solare that's going to be doing that for you? We don't know. We've, we've taken several proposals <laughs> and uh, we're, we're in the process of going through them right now. Um, okay, that's great. You, you may even hear later in the agenda, we're, we're actually looking to, um, to secure some additional funding for this process. So. Oh yeah, no, ab absolutely. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear that, but I, the last, I just want to make one comment on the last uh, the drawings that I gave to Joe that I'm assuming, uh, hopefully correctly, that he uh, forwarded to you guys, but the Lennon Smith, plan that involves that involves uh, running the bar hero traffic down baldwin street does not solve the east west traffic congestion problem on bar hill road the the design i've provided to you uh, does but uh, i just want to mention that so you guys can uh, study it a little more carefully once you get that, to that point at any rate uh, uh, congratulations on reaching this point I guess we should have done it about 30 years ago, but please move ahead as uh, courageously and uh, forcefully as you can. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, thanks, guys. Do we have anyone else who wishes to speak? Uh, yes, I would like to speak, Pat Blasio. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, on behalf of myself and my family, I would uh, like to thank uh, Mayor Copeland and uh, Chief King uh, it was very touching, uh, their uh, Mayor Copeland's proclamation, and most appreciated. Um, I also appreciate our family. Also appreciates uh, the uh, the borough uh, flying the flags at half staff. Uh, it was a great honor and just very very moving. And we very much appreciate the, uh, the, the community and the individuals involved. So thank you very much. You're welcome, Pat. And, and uh, again, our, our deepest sympathies to you and your family. Oh, so you brought thank you. And one other thing. Yeah, I know where I was. A sincere thank you for, uh, for the fire department um, in, in backing us up. Thank you. Uh, do we have anyone else that wants to speak? Once more, anyone else in the room that wants to speak? Okay, we'll move forward with the regular order of business. Uh, I need a motion to approve the February 8th, 2021 regular meeting minutes as submitted. Bruce, so uh, moved. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the March 2021 bill list. I'll move. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And motion passes. I need a motion to approve the March 12th, 19th, 26th, April 2nd, and 9th, 2021 payrolls. So I move. Do I have a second? Bruce second. second. Bruce second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to adopt ordinance number 1020, an ordinance amending and restating the Borough of Bridgeville Code of Ordinances, Chapter 1, Article A, Planning Commission, in its entirety, to decrease the Planning Commission membership from seven members to five members, and to set forth its continued powers and duties as a borough's duly constituted local planning agency. I shall move. move. Gino, do I have a second? Second. Joe, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-4, a resolution of the borough of Bridgeville in the county of Allegheny, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, to reimburse PennDOT for the design, construction, and inspection costs associated with curb ramps on State Route 3034 at the intersections of Chartiers and Winfield Streets, Chartiers and Bank Streets, and Lesnet Road and Sarah Street. Bruce, so moved. 
I'll second. second. A BJ second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-5, a resolution authorizing an application to the Pennsylvania Municipal Assistance Program. Note, authorizes applying for a grant in the amount of $37,500 to fund half of the cost of the comprehensive plan update project. So moved, Nick. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-6, resolution of the borough of Bridgeville, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, disposing of records in compliance with the municipal records manual approved on July 16th, 1993, in accordance with Act 428 of 1968. Bruce, so moved. No, it's Vote second. A second. Joe, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021 7, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville authorizing Borough Manager Joseph Cower to execute documents and act on behalf of the Borough of Bridgeville for the purpose of obtaining financial assistance for the hazard mitigation grant program. Note, this is the Pima demolition project of flood prone structures on Baldwin Street. So moved. Do I have a second? Nick seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to adopt resolution number 2021-8, a resolution of the Borough Council and Mayor of Borough of Bridgeville opposing the proposed tolling of Interstate 79 at the Bridgeville Interchange. I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. Incidentally, there appears to be a um, support from our neighboring communities to passing a, a group resolution to this, so uh, opposing that tool. I need a motion to authorize entering into a lease agreement with the Bridgeville Athletic Association for the concession stand in Chartiers Park for the year 2021. So moved. <clears throat> I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to accept the 2020 audit as prepared by the Borough Auditors, HOSAC, SPECT, Mutzel, and Wood. I'll move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to approve granting local earned income tax credits for year 2020 to active Bridgeville volunteer firefighters that have been certified as eligible by the Borough Manager and Fire Chief in accordance with chapter 24, part one, section 111 of the Bridgeville Code of Ordinances. So move. Bruce second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That motion passes. I need a motion to ratify the disbursement of $32,481.54 from the Capital Projects Fund to Skier Ready Site Development and paving company for partial payment number four of the McLaughlin Run Park Improvements Project. Bruce, I don't I don't Bruce made a motion. Do I have a second? Nino? Yes, second. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the execution of change order number two for the McLaughlin Run Park Flood Mitigation Project in the amount of $47,300 to LMNR Excavating LLC to address unforeseen conditions associated with reestablishing a stable parking lot subbase that was damaged during the construction activities necessary to complete the project. Under a note, a majority of these costs associated with this change order are to be paid from the awarded GEDF grant for this project. I shall move. In a second. Bruce. Bruce second and all in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to authorize a borough engineer to prepare project specifications and advertise for bids, the sanitary sewer backflow preventer phase four project. Actually, I have a question. Sorry? Sorry? I was wondering if I can get clarification on, are they responsible for replacing the sidewalks as well in that grant? 
open up phase? Yes. Okay. Thank I'm you. sorry, Joe. Or Kevin? Yes. Okay. Does that answer your question, Nick? Yes, it does. Thank you. So moved. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> that motion passes. I need a motion to authorize the execution of a new water shutoff agreement with the Pennsylvania American Water Company relative to residential landlord ratepayer shutoffs in compliance with the Utility Service Tenants' Right Act. Um, Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to accept and pay any commission due February 2020 real estate tax collector report. I'll move. First. Second. Second. Opposed? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I was disrupted by a uh, resident. Now. Yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the January 2020 Treasurer's Report. I'll move. That's move. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. I need a motion to accept the February 2021 police report. Bruce, so moved. Move. Nick, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That motion passes. Did you, did you skip number four? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I did. I did that. Not intentional. <laughs> uh, um, consider uh, action on the under business number four. Okay, I got you. Uh, we need to consider action on a conditional use application for 621 McLaughlin Run submitted by Antonio Carousella of Fully Cocked Ammo LLC. I'd like public to suggest the I'm sorry. Go ahead, Bill. Sorry. I was just going to say we had a public hearing uh, prior to this and um, entertained comments. We had uh, further discussion after that public hearing, and Joe, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. I'd like to make an amendment to that conditional use just to require to have a uh, fire department approved wire smoke and fire alarm um, at, at the at the business uh, that will call the security company to to uh, notify 911 uh, so the fire department would find out sooner. Okay, so we will entertain a motion to accept that um, that conditional use application with a conditional, uh, a fourth conditional use as stated by Joe Verducci. Um, all, do I have a motion for that? And that would be for the record in addition to those recommended by the planning commission. Sorry. Gotcha. All in favor? I'm sorry, I need a motion. I need a motion. Probably. Bruce, so moved. Do I have a second? Second. B BJ second, Joe second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. And I apologize for skipping over that. Okay, on the committee reports. Uh, administration, uh, Virginia Schneider. Uh, thanks, Bill. All I really have is, um, that the, uh, the uh, non-uniform employees have been um, educated, explained the new handbook with their job descriptions and have acknowledged um, and signed off on that, um, on, the, on the handbook. Uh, and that'll be placed in their personal files. And the newsletter has been mailed uh, and received around town. And there are extra digital copies available at the, uh, at the borough. Uh, it's also on the website, so. Um, there's a digital copy copy there and that's well done, all I'm Joe. yeah thanks bj i mean that's uh both of those uh, terrific news the um yeah uh, the job descriptions and and whatnot have been we've been working on that for quite some time and it's nice to see it <clears> in the fruition so well, appreciate gotten, all the hard work that's gone into that we've gotten some good feedback on the newsletter and speaking to joe cower um it's a work in progress so as we move forward there'll be more things um, included but it is nice to have i i like the part where joe's gonna joe's office will be uh sending it to all the new residents the first month that they moved in so it's a very good informational piece so uh great job joe 
Very okay, good. Uh, finance, Joe Verduzzi. Okay, uh, just a quick update. Uh, as you saw in the, uh, the different uh, meeting notes, uh, the 2020 audit was completed. Uh, there were no findings or observations, which is always good. Great job uh, by, by the administrative staff and Joe to, to take care of the, the documentation, which is always so important. Uh, as we also uh, voted on, there were 13 firefighters uh, that qualified for the uh, firefighter local earned income tax um, that was coordinated with the fire chief. Uh, much appreciated. That uh, maximum cost will be $3,900. Uh, the Workers' Compensation Safety Committee, which is something that we brought up a uh, um, uh, few months ago that I thought was a great idea. And uh, sure enough, uh, Joe Kyer found a way to, to, to create it and also get a 5% discount uh, on the, the firefighters' uh, compensation policy uh, if we go through these processes. So, uh, it's a great idea. And then we're also going to be saving a little bit of money there. So great job. Uh, as far as the tax collector compensation, uh, we had a memorandum of understanding in regards to uh, taking care of that documentation, uh, which has to do with the, the borough staff, if necessary, if they need to uh, help in some of those collection duties. Um, and uh Unfortunately, as I think I stated in the last, uh, the budget, uh, we were a little bit over in regards to, for some reason, the uh, snow removal uh, uh, so far this year. So that was a little tough. And the liquid fuels tax, we found out uh, that the amount is actually lower than it was last year, which was expected just based on the whole COVID and, and everything going on. So we'll have... Uh, 139,000 and some change uh, to be used towards annual paving the streets. That's all I have to report. Thank you, Joe. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe Colosimo. And I have too much, uh, Mr. President. <clears throat> Public Works has been doing some work down in the Chartiers Park and over at McLaughlin, trying to get ready, I guess, for the spring put some drainage pipes in along the walking trail, put some lights in the storage shed at the request of the BAA. Uh, they store some of their material up there and it was dark. They were painting bathrooms down in the uh, restrooms by Chartier's number one, they repaired the uh, roadway going into the park where it had washed out. Over McLaughlin Park, they're digging up, ready to install new uh, mulch for the mulch piles up under the swings and whatnot. Uh, talked to Cheryl Valentino today. We, so far, we've got about eight uh, requests for permits for the shelters. She says it's a little bit slow uh, with the COVID and whatnot. I guess it could be part of it. People are waiting to see what happens, I would assume. And as an aside, we heard from the American Legion, and they have stated that they are canceling the Memorial Day parade for uh, this year. That's all I have. Okay, thanks, Joe. Uh, under pu Public Works, Nino, what you're telling. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, Mr. Verducci and Joe Colosimo uh, give you uh, the report uh, on what I uh, have here as well. Very well done, both of you. I was figuring about $10,000 more that we spent for this winter. Uh, between the overtime and uh, salt and everything. Other than that, I can give you the information very little. Everything has been said very well by Mr. Verducci and uh, Colosimo. Um, and let's go on a personnel here. Uh, as you all know that um, um, Charlie is no longer with us. Uh, his last day was February the 12th. And the new assistant foreman, it, it is Craig Ellen, El, a lot, uh, took over his, dues, his dues, uh, duty at uh, February 13th. And the new labor, Mike Meglin, started work on 2 22, uh, February 22. Other than that, 
it is a regular maintenance that we do um, all the time, all year long, uh, the trucks and everything else. Other than that, nothing else. Everything in the public court, that's just excellent. And thank to Joe, he does a heck of a good job and they do a good job. Other than that, Mr. Chairman, I don't have anything else. Thank you, I appreciate that, Nino. Thank you. Um, public safety, Bruce Gallarducci. Yeah, the only thing I have, Bill, is the we, public safety committee needs to have a meeting um, to discuss several items and the, the contract coming up. So once I can get with um, Joe Cower and Chief King and Ray Costain, um, we'll move forward with that and I'll be in touch with you all. That's the only thing I have. Okay. Thank you, Bruce. Um, Mayor Betty Copeland. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. This is Women's History Month, and it's because of the vision of women like Betty Mahali, Betty Sutton, Betty Mincemoyer, Sylvia, Sylvia Saperstein, and Grace McDivitt that we have the Bridgeville Public Library. God bless all of the women of our borough. In regard to the Memorial Day, Although the parade has been canceled, I will be accompanying members of, uh, my mind is, is going here, <laughs> but I will be accompanying them to the various cemeteries on that day. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Police Chief Chad King. Thank you, Council President. Uh, the only thing I have is just to uh, revisit the hard work and uh, good job that Sergeant Young did on February 21st with the largest single day heroin bust in our history. He netted nearly 400 bags of heroin on a traffic stop. And outside of a major city, that is a very significant uh, amount of heroin to have in somebody's possession. So he, he got a guy off the streets and got several packages of drugs off the streets, too. So uh, he did a great job with that, and uh, that's all I have. Well done, well done, Chief. I'm sorry, someone else say something? I said good job. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, thanks, Chief. We appreciate all the work you guys do, always. Thank you. Um, Solicitor Tom McDermott. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. President, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. I have nothing to add to my um, written report. I, I would like to take the opportunity to extend my heartfelt personal condolences to the former mayor of de Blasio and Pat and his family. And also I would like to also chime in and, and uh, extend my best wishes to Charlie on his retirement. Thanks. And if anybody has any questions, thanks. Thanks, Tom. Any questions for Tom? Okay. Borough engineer, Kevin Brett. Yes. Uh, good evening. And thank you, uh... Uh, Mr. President of the board, um, we did submit our report dated March 3rd. Um, quick update on the um, various projects um, currently under design for the um, storm scepter project and the roadway improvements. Uh, roadway improvements ad was sent over today and it can go in the paper. Um, pricing so far this year has been very uh, aggressive, although liquid is up in price, prices are down right now. So. Um, we think the timing's good uh, for getting out the bid. Um, uh, the other projects uh, will be starting up. Um, the one that's the most delayed is Jane Way. They're still waiting for the logs. They're supposed to be in the middle of April. Um, right now is the ship date. So as soon as they come in, they'll get started on it. The other projects with the weather breaking, um, a lot of the contractors are starting up with uh, spring restoration, uh, walkthroughs to get those things done. Um, so that, uh, the two, two projects in the park, we expect to see those uh, by middle of April being full, uh, full bore and get them closed out um, by May. Um, Byer Hill Road um, works complete. They just have a little bit of restoration and uh, the various grant projects um, will be moving forward. Uh, they're working on the backflow project right now phase um, three and phase four um, that you authorize tonight to go to bid. Um, there's a number of HOPs needed for that. So we'll be um, 
preparing those HOPs and then we'll uh, uh, get those submitted and as soon as they come in then we can get that out to bid so and we'll be working with Joe on that any questions on our report any questions for Kevin okay thanks Kevin appreciate it fire chief Ray Costain thank you council president uh, month of February uh, the fire department ran 28 calls um, the only thing I would like to add is our QRS vehicle is now in service. Uh, so if you see a, a, new, a newer F-150 uh, cruising around town, that is what that is. And that's all I have, Council President. Thanks, Chief. Thank you. Bill, I have a question for you, <clears throat> yep. Yes. Um, Ray, I was just curious, um, despite the Memorial Day parade being canceled, is there any consideration for putting the flag up? For Memorial Day, we Bridgeway? will do whatever uh, it, it, whatever you guys want to do. Absolutely, uh, I was kind of sad to hear that the parade is going to be canceled again this year. Though I understand, so we'll do whatever whatever you guys wish. Uh, also, um, do we know anything? And, and maybe this isn't the forum for that, but do we know anything about the Easter egg hunt this year? I personally haven't heard anything. I don't know if uh, Joe Cower, if you heard from any of the organizations. Basically, the fire department and the, the borough. Right. We talked about this last year. And if, so, if we're not going to do it, what we'll do again this year, like we did last year, is we'll take the Easter Bunny around town on a fire truck like we do with uh, Santa every year, which got awesome reviews last year. A lot of people were happy to see that. So um, if we could just in the near very near future make a, a decision as to whether or not we're going to do that and uh if we're not then we'll go ahead and implement getting uh the easter bunny taken around town i think that's a good idea i think that's a good idea too yes yep. okay chief anything else uh for the chief okay uh southbridge ems dan miller thank you mr president about the only thing to mention is our subscription drive um, is about to go out, so within the next two weeks, um, residents should be receiving their subscriptions. So we would appreciate the, uh, the residents of all our communities to help support us and subscribe if they can. Um, that's all I have. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Any questions for Dan? Okay, uh, anyone from the Historical Society on? Yes. <clears throat> President Mary Wise would like to invite all of you to come to the Historical Society March 14th through the 20th from noon to three as we observe the 10th year celebration at the location. Come and see the displays that we have and the different items that are for sale. And in keeping with Women's History Month, the Tuesday, March 30th program, 7.30 at the Chartier's Room will be Women of World War II, presented by Todd DiPastino. Thank you. Hey, can I jump in real quick? Uh, I have to Debbie myself. I'd just like to wish Betty a happy birthday coming up on the 14th. All the best. Happy birthday. Birthday, <laughs> birthday Mary. You. Thank you, thank you. Happy birthday, Betty. Thanks. Okay, uh, anyone from the library? Yeah, this is Ben Hornfeck. Um, hey, Ben. Yeah. I just, I submitted a written report. Um, thank you, Mayor Copeland, for your recognition of the library and, and recognition of our founders. I much appreciate it. Um, the written report just highlights some of our programs that we've been doing, um, as well as National Library Week, which is coming up in the first week of April, April 4th through the 10th. Um, so I had also submitted to Joe a resolution recognize hopefully that you would be willing to adopt recognizing National Library Week as the next meeting falls after National Library Week. It is a little early, but um, I was hoping to draw attention to that for the community. I have, let me see, I think I have misplaced my copy of that resolution. Uh, uh, Joe, do you have it by any chance? Uh, yes, I emailed that out to everyone. I don't have it on the laptop here. But uh, I was hoping that we could uh, take action on that under new business. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to have to uh, pull it up. Um, but yes, absolutely. We're, uh, we obviously we 
So we will support that. I just have to pull up that resolution. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I, I did. I sent it to Joe a little late, so I apologize. And it is long, so you don't have to feel don't feel obligated to read the whole thing. But um, I appreciate the support. Got it. Um, we will do that under new business. Anything else, uh, Ben? Uh, no, that's all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I did see a parking authority report. Do we have anyone from the parking authority on? No. Okay. How about uh, planning commission? I see a couple people from planning commission. Do we have a report? Yes, Justine here. Um, basically, what we did was discuss the 621 McLaughlin Run Road application. We applied uh, three conditions to that application in order to move it forward on to the uh, council. Uh, we also uh, looked at uh, the six comprehensive plan proposals and um, reviewed them prior to the meeting. And we will be discussing that probably at length within the next couple of months. Um, the idea is to narrow it down to at least three or four proposals so that those people could be interviewed. Um, we also discussed the other items that not, did not completely make it into the comprehensive plan. Um, I'm calling them low risk, high visibility items. Um, we will put that on our docket for the, the year so that we can discuss them throughout the year and get some uh, proposals presented to council. And uh, that's about it. Uh, thank you, Justine, appreciate that. Um... Borough Manager Joe Cower. Uh, thank you, Mr. Henderson. Uh, bridging to what uh, Justine was just talking about, uh, we received some good news today that uh, a grant that we applied to uh, last year for uh, an active transportation plan that would address some and improve pedestrian concerns in the borough was awarded. We received $22,000 from the county's active Allegheny program for this project. Uh, I know last year the Planning Commission had a lot of discussion on uh, concerns with pedestrian infrastructure and issues around town regarding that. Uh, this grant will allow us to hire a consultant uh, to take care of those uh, issues and put a plan together to address that. Uh, two other grant applications that were completed and submitted this past month include, included uh, plans to improve the uh, fitness trail around Chartres Park. So hopefully we'll know later on this year where that lies. Uh, on the agenda, you saw we're working on a grant application to help fund the comprehensive plan project. Uh, the FEMA demolition grant for Baldwin Streets advancing the application or the resolution on the agenda basically just changed the contact uh, between the old manager to myself. And lastly, there's a third application that's gonna be submitted for blight removal projects that uh, the COG is administering that will be submitted within the next month as well. We received another good news today that the borough has again received uh, banner community status for 2021. Uh, this is through the Allegheny County League of Municipalities and recognizes municipalities uh, for professional development, fiscal management, transparency, and accountability. So Bridge will achieve that status for 2021. Um, that's all I have. Uh, if there's any questions on my written report, I'd be happy to answer them. Any questions for Joe? Okay. Uh, under new business, I have located the proclamation. I will read it. It's not that long, Ben. I'll read it to uh, So National Library Week, April 4th through 10th, 2021, proclamation. Whereas libraries of all types are at the heart of their cities, towns, schools, and campuses serving their communities. Whereas libraries are accessible and inclusive places that foster a sense of belonging and community. Whereas today's libraries and their services extend far beyond the four walls of a building and everyone is welcome to use their resources. Whereas for people lacking broadband at home, libraries provide access to computers and Wi-Fi, even checking out internet hotspots and laptops. Whereas libraries strive to develop and maintain programs and collections that are diverse as the populations they serve and ensure equity of access for all. Whereas libraries offer opportunities for everyone to explore new worlds and become their best selves through access to technology, multimedia content, and educational programs. Whereas in times of crisis, libraries, librarians, and library workers play an invaluable role in supporting their communities both in person and virtually. Whereas to adapt to our changing world, libraries are expanding their resources 
and continuing to meet the needs of their patrons. Whereas libraries are cornerstones of democracy, promoting the free exchange of information and ideas for all, whereas libraries have long served as trusted and treasured institutions for all members of the community, regardless of race, ethnicity, creed, ability, sexual orientation, gender identity, and socioeconomic status. Whereas libraries, librarians, and library workers are joining library supporters and advocates across the nation to celebrate National Library Week. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Bridgeville Borough Council, proclaim National Library Week April 4th through 10th, 2021. During this week, we encourage all residents to visit Bridgeville Public Library online or in person to access resources and services. Because of you, libraries transform lives and communities. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate that. Thank you. Very well said. Uh, anything else under new business? If I don't have anything under new business, I would take a motion for adjournment. Uh, Mr. Something? Chairman, yeah, we have a, uh, I'm looking probably the same thing here. Then we have a, some zoning yeah. discussion here on uh, under new business. Zoning uh, here, board vacancy. Oh, I, I'm, I am sorry. Yes, we do. <laughs> a, a proclamation <laughs> threw me off. I ran out of words. Um, <laughs> we do. We have a zoning hearing, board and vacancy. We have two applicants that have applied for this position or, or have sent their resume to us. And we need to uh, coordinate some interviewing of these appli applicants. I believe there's only two. Is that correct? Yes. They are uh, excellent uh, candidate. They're both for Bridgeville. Uh, Juan E.A. is a, uh, an engineer and uh, a, a very, very good uh, candidate. Two of them. So. Okay, so what, what we need to do is, uh, do we want to go through the administration committee or do we want to do this in, uh, prior to the next meeting? Where everyone can interview. Uh, I would like to be involved. It'd be nice to do it before the next meeting. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah, that's a good idea. All right. So then, what we need to do is uh, pick a couple dates that are going to work for um, for the two candidates, and then we, as a group, it sounds like all of council wants to partake in this. Uh, then we can um, we can meet with them at the borough building and, and interview them. Joe, can you reach out and see if we can get a couple dates for those two? Yes. Okay. And that once they come in, then we can agree on it. Um, do it. I'm sorry. If we can't come up with something, do it like at 6:30 before the next council meeting. Everybody will be there, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's um, let's reach out, see what you know what they have available, and if if we can coordinate it prior to, we'd be able to act on it that night. And if not, we can get them there before. So. Before you okay. ask for a motion, Mr. Chairman, if I may, yes, sir. Uh, if we have a, an administration committee uh, sometime this year, uh, I'm sure we will. Uh, the thing that I want to propose so that, uh, that you notice tonight, uh, and, and actually I'm glad, uh, we have to do a, some reconstruction uh, on interviews and uh, nomination, uh, it's healthy and it uh, pleases everybody. So nothing that's done, uh, that's not transparent. This is one of my topic on the um, administration committee. And then we bring that to council. And if we were a meeting for this, we can discuss that all together, but whatever. But that's my intention due to some other misunderstanding and this can happen and happen again and again and again. We don't need that. We have to work for the borough and we have to be friends and uh, I'm ready. Let's uh, we can, uh, just let's figure something out that please everybody when they are, whether they are uh, employee where they are non-uniform, we just uh, 
that's the proper thing to do. Where, where it was done 30 some years ago, things change and, and I'm for it. And that's about all I got to say. Thank you, Nino. Uh, do we have anything else under new business? If we have nothing further, I will, I will now take a motion for adjournment. Bruce, so moved. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Appreciate all the work. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. It's great to see everybody. Yeah. Yes. yes.